Hello and welcome, my name is Teresa from the blog and YouTube channel freetofire.com where I share all about our simple living on our European farm, homesteading house tours, and recipes from scratch. Please hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a new video. Today I am making one of our family's favorite weekend breakfasts, sourdough waffles. If you're anything like me and you grew up loving hotel waffles at the breakfast bar, you are going to adore those. Not only are they much healthier for you because they're made from whole ingredients and only contain a little tiny bit of sugar, but they are also made with sourdough, which means they've gone through the fermentation process, the gluten's been broken down, and they are much easier to digest even to those with a slight gluten sensitivity. There are two ways that you can make this recipe. If you've planned ahead and you know that you're gonna be making waffles the following morning, these are the best when made the night before. That way they can ferment all night long and get really nice and bubbly and you save time in the morning so you don't actually have to get up that early you just add in the eggs and a few of the other ingredients and you are good to go now if you did not plan like i did it when i was making this video and decided the morning of that you are making sourdough waffles you can still speed make them so to speak so that they are ready to be served right away you will need one and a half cups of sourdough starter. You can use active starter or sourdough discard. Two cups milk, four tablespoons brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, eight tablespoons melted butter, four cups all-purpose flour. I really like to use organic spelt flour. Four large eggs, two teaspoons baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, and one half teaspoon salt. This makes a pretty large serving, so if you are making waffles for only a couple people, you can divide this by two. This is super simple. If you are making this all on the day of, you simply whisk all ingredients together in a large bowl, heat up your um, waffle iron, and you can go to town. Now, if you are making these the night before, you want to whisk together your starter, milk, vanilla, melted butter, and your flour. You will cover that bowl and let it rest for eight to 12 hours. When you come to it the next morning, you'll see it all bubbly and smelling so delicious. That's when you add in your eggs, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. You can let it sit for about 20 minutes before you put it on the waffle iron. It'll just allow it to rise that little extra bit and make the waffles even more airy. Serve with fresh whipped cream, maple syrup, berries, whatever floats your boat. If you would like this recipe in written form, I will link it in the description box below. It is up on my blog. Thanks for watching. Till next week.